Hello, welcome to my channel. I'm Davy Jade, and you may have thought I forgot about the new moon, and I haven't. I'm here before it goes into the first phase. I like to present things after the dark of the moon. I've shared that with you many times, because in the dark of the moon, which is the new moon, it's the place of quietness and meditation. And where it came in just recently, it was on a wonderful night of Mahashivatri, which I was indeed celebrating and doing meditation and prayer work and chanting and those things that would speak of that particular day to access the very, very strong energies of that particular day. So now we are here before the crescent pops out and goes into its first phase. And you probably can see just a tiny, tiny little sliver of this. I have contemplated as I do what would be the best in regard to showing you and moving into a space uh, that will bring you more to yourself, that you'll bring more peace to yourself, more calmness, and not so much manifesting um, in this particular moon. This moon is in Pisces, and that is obviously, if you do, if you know your Pisces, it's about the two fish and a partnership and working together, compassion for one another, and that's what I'm going to speak of and what we're going to set a candle for. I will set this up and then I will actually go with it tomorrow because today on Saturday, Saturdays are always a day of things that need to be moved away from you. So I want to increase compassion and I don't want it to obviously go away, but I will start this day of setting it because I want to think about and consider and contemplate what is it and who is it that I need to have compassion for. First and foremost, it's always ourselves because we're very, very hard on ourselves the way we talk to ourselves and such. The second thing is, is the people that are the next closest to us that seem to, quotation, trigger us the most. And inevitably, and more than likely for the majority of us, not all of us, the majority of us, it's someone very close, a family member, maybe our mother or a father, little things that, that put us on edge. And even if we have excellent relationships as we're growing up and becoming our own person, you know, we want to have more compassion for ourselves in the relationship that we have with our parents as we are moving away from one another and sailing our little boat off to become more of ourselves in our lives. So what I have is I've got, um, I like a few of the Oracle decks and one of the original, original Oracle decks that there was, was not really an Oracle deck. It was given to us by Louise Hay uh, when she was alive. She was one of the very first in the community, in the wellness community, um, one of the originals so far back when, when I was in my very early 20s. And she um, published these little cards that are um, everyday cards. And even as I was contemplating it and drew, um, this is the one that came up. And it is for compassion because that was already where I was headed. And I will... Um, I don't know how I can post it in the group. And if I put it here, it'll be all backwards. So I'm going to read it. And this one is, I see my parents as tiny children who need love. We don't always think of our parents as tiny children. We think of them the way that we experience them. Then, Now, those of you that work with me closely, we go through these sorts of things. But even when we work with our parents, we're thinking of them as the adults, not necessarily of what they experience as children that give them credence to some of the triggers that they have with us or how they do repeat patterns with us because they haven't grown that part up inside of them. That piece is fractured. I know that people think that they only have one little part of themselves, but the fact of the matter is we have many little tiny parts and fractures of us. Just much like if you shattered a glass, there'd be big pieces or, you know, you'd, you'd have little slivers of things. And some of those tinier slivers take a while to get out because you've absorbed it into your system and eventually it'll come to the surface. So it can just simply be pulled out. The other part of this is 
this. I have compassion for my parents' childhood. I now know that I chose them because they were perfect for what I have to learn. I forgive them and set them free, and I set myself free. So in my group that I have, um, that people come to purifying my spirit, purifying your spirit what we're doing is we are cleansing and clearing the energy that gets attached to us all of our life and then it goes deeper and deeper into beliefs and then into paradigms until we get to the roots of certain things and this is what I was speaking of earlier so what are we going to do for the candle work because I know you're probably saying okay get to the candle work get to the candle work um, I chose, I thought that yellow would be best because it's for communication and um, it's it can be for compassion. It's for our solar plexus. And our solar plexus is where, you know, we create things and manifest things. So as we're lighting the candle and we're thinking about forgiveness, I forgive my parents for this, this, and this. So what you're doing is you're break, helping them to break free of their own issues by stating that yourself. And these are really the things that are triggering you because it, it, it's all about what they're projecting and you're eating it. Okay, so um, let's not get too deep on this or anything, but that's basically what's happening. And then we're, turn, we're turning around and that's exhibiting in different parts of our areas of our lives. And some people may not agree with that and say, no, I've gotten all, I've done it all. I've got through my parents' stuff. And I, what I say to people um, because of the medicine that I carry and the many things that I do to help people to free themselves of all these things, you'll never get over your parent issues. Never. Because they're deep inside of you. There are things that you will be able to let go of. You'll be able to say goodbye to. But there's inevitably some things that they'll be there. So you'll have to make friends with those things that, you know, you don't particularly care for. Because on the other side of that, there's many, many things that are good about your parents that you are okay with. It's these other, these so-called negative things I'm speaking of. So I've got this yellow candle, and then I've chosen this particular oil. It's Harmony. I figured that this would be the best thing. Now, what if you don't have this particular oil that I'm talking about, Harmony, then I would get our ever wonderful, you know, olive oil that hopefully you've got a tiny little bottle that you've set aside for consecration of your candles. And then I would either use that and then I think I would apply a little bit of of lemon. That's what's coming to me right now because it's a little bit of a clearing and it's fresh and it will help everything to reset. Okay, so now I'm gonna I'm gonna put the oil in here, but as I am, I'm gonna talk about this a little bit. So what if you, you know, what if you think you've you've done so much work and you've cleaned and you've cleared and you've forgiven and it's been over and over and over and it seems like that never that never ever happens with your parents. It's just I'm just gonna tell you, you're just gonna have to keep working with it. You don't, you know, when you go to create something out of stone, some beautiful artwork out of stone. It doesn't just happen overnight. It happens over a period of time. All of the older cathedrals, they weren't built in a moment. It took years for castles and cathedrals to be built and all kinds of different helpers. So that which you attract that's in the highest that comes from your heart, not your head, those are the ones that you'll attract to to assist you and even just, you know, you don't have to jump in the fire to see if you can burn up or to see if you can burn it out. It's really about compassion to yourself and speaking well, speaking well to yourself and being very patient, very, very patient with yourself when things come up. So what I'm going to do, I put the oil on my hand. You saw me rubbing it like I always do. I'm going to go from the top of the candle and I'm going to go all the way down. And I'm just going to focus on this for you, all of you, and praying that this candle, candle will be consecrated very, very simply and easily for forgiving, forgiving of our parents, forgiving of ourselves, and to increase compassion to ourselves, 
to those around us and all of those in the world at this time. And just hold that and then put it to your third eye right here. May all this be according to the highest of the high. So be it. Okay, and then I'm going to put it in this little holder here, like I usually do. Now what I've done this time, because I know that most of us have altars at this point, and some of us have really wonderful altars that, you know, that that's what we use all the time. But let's just say you are traveling. It's like, how do I do this when I'm traveling? Then I usually grab something that I see. So this time, I just grabbed this little, this is actually part of a jewelry box, but I thought, oh, this is good. This is a star, just, just for this fun. And then I have, you guys know that I love to dry my flowers. These happen to be little tiny bits of orchid that were left from my orchid that's now in hibernation. So I'm just putting them around in this little star. Okay, just putting the, them around there. And then I'm going to put this little guy in the middle. Okay, and I'm gonna step him, stick him in there better. Then I've got a few more, so I'll pile them up so they all are, so it looks cute. Okay, so now see, now I've done this. Now, it doesn't look so good, I'll, I'll fix it so it looks a little better when we get off camera. But see, now it looks like a tiny little altar, a travel altar, so to speak. And I'll put it down. And then when I put it on the altar tomorrow, I'll add a little prayer for all of you, um, even stronger on this candle. And then I'll light it. And I'll out loud talk about forgiveness. The first thing you say that I was instructed and guided by the angels is to say, and Mother Mary is to say, please forgive me let me change that. Um, I forgive myself for the way I speak to myself. Now you can, I know that's not exactly how it is, but I'm going to, I'm going to say that. So the first thing you want to do is you're going to forgive yourself and then you're going to start working outward. Okay. And you might speak unkind to yourself. You might speak unkind to your body. You might speak unkind to the things that are around you, the way that you're, the way that you're performing at work or what you feel like your work is or your path is or where you feel like you're not enough. So please forgive me for speaking against myself. That's actually the sentence. Please forgive me for speaking against myself. And then you'll just kind of go down the row and then you'll go to your parents next and don't separate them. Say, you know, first you want to forgive please forgive me for speaking against you, mom. And then, then you'll say, please forgive me for saying this or doing this, saying this, saying this. Then your dad, same thing. Please forgive me for speaking against you, dad. And then you'll go down the row of what you feel are the issues. Now, some of you might say, I don't have any issues with my parents. Then you might say to yourself or out loud, please forgive me for not always being in compassion in regard to us because there's no one gets along absolutely perfectly we have our little things but what happens is the more that you do that the more you spread out and the more that you give yourself space you give yourself yourself space in your heart and i you can keep going out to the sisters and the brothers and the, the family members and everything but in this particular candle this is really geared to your family okay your parents so that you can free yourself from the patterns. And little by little, as you're compassionate to yourself, you'll find yourself having much better relationship with yourself and with your parents and not feeling that you're, you know, on edge with anything and that you can enter into their space and not take on the past hat of this is where I'm supposed to sit at the table, this is how I'm supposed to behave you'll feel like you're two people coming together in this, which is namaste, namaskaram, okay? And so be it. So that's what I have to say for this time. Look for the um, meditation that'll come soon after, and I will see you soon. Happy new moon.
happy crescent moon, increasing moon, waxing moon, and all. I'm, I guess I better ask you to please subscribe if you've not subscribed and hit the bell so you get them all. Okay, take care. I'll see you soon. Thank you.